And I thank every man and every woman of God who is here represented. I always count it a joy and an honor to bring God's word to his people because when you give a man any material gift at all, in my understanding, you merely supported the person to make life easier for the moment. But when you bring enlightenment to an individual, you have supported that person to excel for life. Hallelujah. So if an individual comes who is, say, hungry, and you give him a thousand naira, ten thousand, a million, doesn't matter how much, you have only succored the moment for now. But when you are able to teach the person the principles that make for an excelling life, even if you did not give that person any material gift, you have blessed that person sustainably. Abraham had Isaac, his son, and Abraham had other sons that came, you know, with Hagar and then other concubines. And they were in total about six to eight children Abraham had. The Bible says, Abraham called the remaining children and gave them gifts. He distributed gifts unto them. But to Isaac, he gave him everything that he had. There was no mention of giving Isaac any material gift. And there was no mention of conferring the blessing on any of the other children. Hallelujah. He gave them gifts and they went. The trouble is to have knowledge without understanding. Are we together? I remember when 3310, that tiny phone, Nokia, 3310, you still remember it? Do you know the potential to have phones like this that literally can put you at a global space was always there? So when your destiny becomes, it's not like new laws were created. You just found a way of making it work for you. That it is not working for you does not mean it is not working. It is just not working for you yet. And I'm praying for you prophetically. Whatever you have not known how to combine in the spirit to produce an enviable destiny of greatness, may God himself show you how to make it work. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me have one gentleman from the worship team. Please come. Do you play any instrument? Do you play any instrument? Nothing at all. Is this keyboard on? Put it on for me. Go and sit down and play something. Anything at all. Watch this now. Watch this. This keyboard was designed to afford you an opportunity to enjoy music and enjoy the melody. Do you agree with me? The manufacturer produced this with intention. Now here is a very handsome, wonderful gentleman sitting in front of something that can make all of us worship God. Sitting in front of something that can prosper him. Right? Go ahead. Play anything at all. Is that the best? You can do better. Go ahead. Now watch this. While you are laughing, I'm, I'm introducing my session. You would think his looks, his smile, his sincerity of heart, his decent dressing would make the keyboard answer to him differently. Now, this gentleman is seated here, very lovely person, but with respect to results from keyboard. Look at this. Now, if you are to judge this person's destiny, you may be angry at the keyboard. He may be angry at the keyboard himself. Why are you not sounding like this man's keyboard? Play yours. Same keyboard. Same hands. Five fingers. Ten. Listen, 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 listen. Same eyes. Same church. Same city. Same power. Powering both keyboards. The outcome is different. Why are you listening to this man? Willing to pay. Why are you listening to this man? If you are to invite two of them for your son's ceremony, who is going to come? Why? No, results. 
results results this keyboard you see is based on a law once upon a time he could not play it too are we together now once upon a time this man could not play it now i wish we had time i would have flipped all of them now that we are done with keyboard i would have given them a mic and do you sing you sing now you see you see him smiling already because he knows that there's there, at least it's not that bad there is something that i can do now if i give me a mic don't i'm not wasting your time is there any there's no mic huh If you don't understand what I'm teaching you now, then it's a demonic. Okay. Come, my friend. At least you sing. So, he is playing for you. Now, you sing something. Anything at all. Even if it's the song. You are the one that we praise. You are the one we adore you give the healing and grace our hearts always hunger for oh our hearts always hunger for. has he suddenly become your friend this was a man that five minutes ago you ignored him because he could not play keyboard now you discover that he was not all bad. What if in addition to this singing, he can play keyboard? Think of what kind of a man he will be. Look at how he came out of shame and reproach within a minute by showing you that there are a few laws I know. My score is not zero. There are a few things I have found. My assignment for you tonight is not to celebrate the one you have found. It's to show you what else you can add to your life. Are we together now? So don't sit down in arrogance saying at least I know some things. I needed to dramatize this for you to see. This gentleman, imagine if he could sing. And then imagine if he could play keyboard. Then imagine if he could dance on top. Now imagine what sort of a human being this will be. God wants to bring you completion. Because there are many of you, the reason why the nations cannot place a demand upon you is that what they need, you have not understood the laws that make it work in your life. If we need singing, then this guy is invited into our space. But if the only thing we need is instrumentals, as gifted as he is, he will remain outside. And you tell him, Mr. Man, I heard you sing yesterday. Why are you not here? And he says, they do not need singing. What they need is whoever can play. Is someone learning now? So the Bible says a woman had 10. Why did God give her 10? 10 of the same thing? I thought one would have been enough and then she lost one the part of this story that touches my heart is the fact that because one was missing she acted as if the nine were irrelevant if I was the one who after losing one I'll say it's okay nine over ten is still fair the woman said no way I know what lacking that one can do in my life lacking that one can cause depletion if I do not have that one, it can make the other ones to also leave. And she said, I will not spare. It must be 10 over 10. And she lit her lamp. If you saw her searching around, you would think she was a poor woman. She was not poor. She was a woman who was crying for completion. Are we together? 